Hello, idlers. This is your Colonel speaking, and today we're going to go through a little bit of brave trial again to see、uh, how far we can get. And first, though, we, I'm going to talk about the new, the latest up, updates they did on May 22nd. So first of all, they added a timer of 60 seconds to the Arena Revenge function. What that means is basically. Uh, it's going to make it a little harder to farm people in the arena, and、uh, we can we can talk about that a little bit in a second. Next, they removed the level limit of Marauder Boss. So I believe what that is is、uh, before, if you were too high level, you couldn't fight some of the lower level、uh, Marauder bosses, and so. Uh, and so, of course, that、uh, that we, we can talk a little bit about that as well in a, here in a second. And、uh, so, those those are the main two things. So let's 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 go to the arena. So if we go to the arena, you got.、Uh, so we'll go to the Crystal Crown League here, and. If you look at my record here, so、uh, so I lost to Thor here, and so if I I so I could battle him right now if I wanted to, and and whether I beat him or not, whether whether I beat him or not. There's going to be 60 seconds. There's going to be a 60 second timer before I can attack him again. And and like I said before, that basically makes it harder to farm people.、Uh, if you're not familiar, basically, a、uh, a way a lot of pe- players play the tournaments lately is they would you would lose to somebody on purpose. You know, maybe just like take out all but one of your heroes in your team, lose to that player, and then put all your heroes back, and then just farm that that player. You know, hit him six or you know, like I don't know. I think it was twelve times that you could hit him, and、uh, just you would just farm them that way basically, and just get a lot of points. Honestly, ever since they they re they did the monthly events the way they are now. I really haven't had to farm anybody、uh, in order to get those finished in a timely manner. Obviously, you know, if you're rushing, if you're trying to get either the Crystal Crown League or the、um, you know, if you're trying to to rush the Crystal Crown League in order to get gems, or maybe you're rushing the Trial of the Champion in order to get. Uh, orbs or, or gems or something like that,、um, you know that that's why people would farm basically is to get those done quickly. But honestly, you know now that it's a monthly event, you have a whole month in order to get those done. And、uh, you know if you manage your gems and everything properly, you really don't need to to rush these at all. You just you can just finish them in a timely manner. So the other the other thing they they did is they made it so you can you can attack. So I've had a couple of times when when some of my lower level friends have gotten a Marauder, like you know a Malassa or、uh, something like that, and I'm not it said you know I'm not able to attack it because I'm too high level. Well. That obviously messes with the the new intimacy deal that they instituted a little while back. So, you know, because obviously you you would just want to get rid of that friend because you can't you know if you can't attack the marauders why do you have them right? So, but then of course that would disrupt your intimacy with that with you know because you would have to get a new friend and build up intimacy with that friend first, and so. So just to go along with the new system they've instituted, this intimacy system, you can now attack lower-level marauders、uh, 
you know, that, that before you were restricted against. So that's why they did that. So now today, today we're going to do Brave Trial and on the advice of my darling, darling, <laughs> hello darling, shout out to darling, um, we are going to strip our heroes of their armor. So this is, so the idea behind this is that Brave Trial basically takes you, your highest level heroes and bases your opponents on those heroes. So we're just going to remove the armor from the, uh, all of the gear from all of these heroes here. And actually we're going to go a little deeper than, than six. Uh, did I say five? I meant six. So, so we're going to remove all, all of their gear and that will artificially lower the the level of our first opponent and so we're not starting at as at, in as high a level against our opponents and that helps to uh, you know to get you through the brave trial so here's our first opponent and that's not really a big deal so we're going to go ahead and battle them without our gear on This is the lineup I generally go with. And always never forget to equip your monster. I've done that. I've done that before and it's not pretty at all. Right, so let's battle now. Oh, I didn't skip. Oh well. I guess we can watch it. We'll watch this first battle and then I'll skip the skip through the others. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pretty much mess up these guys, which is awesome. They did very little damage to us. That's excellent. So next, so now uh, now I am gonna go put on all of my gear again. And I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but that's generally what I do. So let's see, we're gonna gear her. Uh, how do we do this? We usually do do it this way, and that gives her her maximum health. If you if you configure your your armor this way, with six star gear in those two slots, and then ranger gear in the other two. Oh wait a second, we don't want that. We want. Oh, yeah, we want the oak heart, that's right. Next, I'm gonna auto equip her. She gets all assassin gear and a lovely echo of death. Hot Watcher doesn't really matter at the moment. She's not in our team. Aspen's gonna go with full, full warrior gear and a, an echo of death as well. And here we're going to I'm going to give him the offensive side of the gear here. And actually, I would I would like to get this to be six star as well, but that would give him his max attack. But uh, I can't do that just yet because I don't have enough six star suits. So, uh, let's see, he gets. I think we're just giving him the Fiend's Touch to up his attack. And then we've got, on her, we've got. We have to go down to five star gear for her because. We need the six star gear for our other units. For this guy here. So again, that's giving him max HP, max survivability, and 
uh, of course Horus gets the withered armor as well where, where did that go now you get that for range of killing and for max attack and we'll give him the withered armor for survivability and let's see he's going to get max range he's going to get all the ranger gear here and now we can go back and equip cruise here he's going to get the that And we got her geared up as well with the Echo of Death. Alright, now that that's out of the way, we're going to go ahead and back into Brave Trial and see what we can get done. So, there's our next opponent. And we're going to skip this one. So that's excellent. I'm going to go on to game three. So now we're getting a little tougher opponents here. What do we get here? Uh, monster stones, big deal. Okay. Oh, this, this should be relatively easy. That's, that's an easy one. Level 5. Ah, here's a gimme. This guy has no one of consequence. Okay, this one looks a little tougher, but uh, it's a full abyss team. But again, it shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see, what do we get? Got shadow shards, eh? Nothing again. So generally down here, I will buy, I will occasion, occasionally buy the uh, light and dark shards if they if they show up. Uh, that's about all I'll buy from these lower chests. Sometimes I like to spend on a skin, but that's that's when I'm feeling frivolous. So we're on to seven, and again, it's an underhanded team here, or an, an understaffed team. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, we already lost. Ouch. How did we lose her already? Dang it. Okay. Let's... I guess we'll have to take strip her gear here. And put it on Gurky. Now we'll go back into Brave Trial. And here we go. Hello, Gurky. Welcome to the team. So, another good victory there. Now, did we lose our King Barton? That's the question. Yes, we did. Ugh, that's ugly. Alright. Well, we, we'll we just sub in Cruz here for this battle. We're looking a little worse for wear. Oh, jeez, look at all those E3s. This is going to be ugly. And he has an aura as well, so... Very ugly. And we lost our cruise. So now we have to ask ourselves. Do we go to the altar? Uh, yeah, I think we need to revive someone and it's going to be King Barton. Okay, so we got King Barton back, and 
Let's see how this goes down. Not bad. Uh, monster blood, useless. So who did we lose this time? Let's see. Uh, really? So we lost our... We lost our Shia and our Gurki as well. So, things are not going well for us. So let's see here, we need... Strip him and give all of his stuff to Ada here. Give her the sword and we're going back in. So it's not looking really great for us at the moment, is it? Uh, of course, this is a fairly, this should be a fairly easy team to beat. So, let's see, we're digging deep into our bench here, and we're going to put him there, and then, where is Ada? Clear down here, okay. Digging into our bench, let's see what we got. It's a victory. Yeah, we lost nearly everybody there. So... It's just not looking good for us here. Uh, let's see. So we really can't maintain our aura anymore. So I think what we're going to do now is go for a... Yeah, we're going to go for this aura here. Actually, we're going to put her in there. Our Heart Watcher, and we got Visa and Karma. There we go. So that gives us a little bit of an aura there. So that's a victory. Hopefully, we didn't lose anybody. Oh, alright. We only have three enemies on this one. This is good. And we did. We lost nearly our entire team, which is ridiculous. So, let's see. Do we have any... Who's a good frontliner? I think we've used all of our good frontliners. I guess we need to put... We need to put... Scary in. Put me in, coach. Put me in, he says. So let's see. Who's, whose stuff are we going to give to him? He's a mage. Which means... I guess he gets Cruces. Gets Cruces stuff here. I don't know why the game thinks that time control is like the greatest thing ever. But... It's not. So, there we go. You know what? Let's get that. I'm going to get in that instead. So there's Scary. And let's see if that helps us a bit here. So we want Scary in the one, the one slot there. And let's see. Put him back where he was. And we're going to go with... Actually, we could go with... You know what? We're going to go with a red and green aura. How about that? So... 
so we're going to equip you with with her gear. Oh no, let's see. With Ada's gear. Actually, let's upgrade Scary instead, since he's on the front line. And now we can give we can put Oberon out there. Let's see what are we gonna give him? Uh, may as well be that, I guess. So see how that works. So on the front line we got Skere, and then we have Oberon here, and we have our two Abyss units. So let's see how that how we do there. Here's a victory. Oh, that's always tempting to me. I don't know why it shouldn't be, but it is. But we're not going to buy it. So. Let's see. Now, basically, I'm saving up. If you see here, I have 108,000. I'm saving. I'm trying to save 100,000 because I've I've heard that the uh, you can get some really rare heroes for 100 for 100k, but that's only if you get to level 30 apparently. So you got to go all the way through this mode uh, in order to get to night mode and then get all the way through night mode to level 30. So obviously we're not going to do that today, but uh, that's that's just for your information. So let's see, we've got, a, we've got a pretty tough team here. Oh, and we lost half our team, didn't we? Okay, lovely. So let's see now. I guess auras are not are a thing of the past now. We're past that stage, so we're just going to throw in whoever we can here. Valkyrie's going to have to go in the first spot. And then we'll throw him there. And you and you and you. Because I know they're all geared up. I'd rather not gear gear up the rest of these if I don't have to. So, anyway, let's let's actually go and see if we, we may as well use some blessings, right? So, got rage, double rage, and rock. That's pretty good. Alright, so, here goes nothing, let's see, oh yeah, so we got you in the front slot, then you, 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 and you, excellent, alright, so, here goes our Hail Mary here, it's a victory, excellent, but we probably lost yeah, we lost nearly our, our, our entire team here. So, I don't, I don't know if it's really even worth it to give her any support from these other guys here. We just have a lot of wimpy guys left, so... Let's... Maybe we, maybe we should revive someone. Let's see. Maybe you revive for three and uh, let's revive Shia. How about that? There, there's all of our blessings used up, and I'll go ahead and put Shia back in her one spot there, and then. You and you. Alright. 
It's a bitter defeat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see here. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we barely made a dent, did we? Didn't we? And that's it for our team. So there we go. Uh, really, you know, we didn't get any better results that time with stripping our armor off. I perhaps maybe I put on my put my armor back on a little too soon. Sometimes you can get through the first few waves without any gear on, and perhaps that was my mistake. But we only got to the whole 14 that time. So there's another brave trial in the books, and we we'll, we will try and try again, I guess. But anyway, thank you for joining me today, everybody. I hope that was enjoyable and makes you feel better about yourselves because I am a failure. However, uh, remember, as always, karma can be a bitch and she is lovely. So, please like and subscribe and tell all your friends, bring them to the party tomorrow and we will see you for the new events. We'll see you all then, everybody. It's your colonel signing off.